one in the morning. I'm always here so I can talk to my people. I um, want to say good morning, more blessings and more love. I know a lot of y'all hugging the pillow, putting slob all over it, with the zippers in, and flicking wounds all over the face. We call it zipper face. I'm out here going to get it. And then I literally tell him, I'm like, yo, wake up, zipper faces. It's 1.20 in the morning. The trade is about to play out. And then would you look at that? But it's not only that, I sent this trade completely on Sunday. And you can see right there, perfect trade analysis for the sell, perfect trade analysis for the sell. So currently right now on this trade, I am very confident. I'm just gonna keep holding it. If anything, keep scaling. But for now, we're just going to set and forget and let this trade do its thing. AUD, USD didn't make it to break the retest under and neither of these other trades have broken above or under. So we're just gonna keep our focuses on the trade right now that is currently making us the profits. And that it is looking very, very, very solid. And I mean like this shows you guys how like I've literally turned $100 into six figures by just following my trading plan. I've been doing the same thing now for two months. Obviously my goal was to turn the $100 into the mill by now. Obviously in the challenge, I realized that that's actually very difficult. That's not, it's easier said than done, right? So I'm about 900K away, but I'm just like a couple flips away. I'd say I'm about seven to eight good trades away from turning this 100K into a mil now. Because if I was able to turn $100 into 100K, I can definitely turn 100K into a mil. So um, it only gets easier from here. But this just shows you guys that the consistency. I'm here every single day, showing the traders every single day, showing you guys every single day, waking up every single day, and just doing my routine every single day. I haven't traveled outside of my home during this whole entire challenge because I want to focus on this challenge. I love traveling. I would love to, you know, be right now in Cape Town. I would love to be right now in Dubai, in Spain, or New York right now for Fashion Week. I would love to be in all those places, you know, just meeting cool people because I'm able to do it. I'm a profitable trader. I have freedom. I'm young. I can do all that stuff. But I want to show you guys that this is possible first. I feel like my duty as a person that has come from nothing to be able to be living in a neighborhood like this, to be able to having cars like the ones that I have, is to be transparent and show you guys that this is possible. So don't take this for granted what I'm doing because nobody's going to put this type of dedication into this journey so somebody else can replicate it and have, and have success with it as well. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to make this challenge possible. And then after that, I'll reward, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll reward it myself. But in the meantime, let's get back to work. Eating snacks before the gym. We're going to go get... Wait, we gotta get the sunlight in there. You can see like the bicep. You see the bicep more in the sun? No? Right. I gotta hit 160 this week and then I'll be done for the week. So you still gotta make another 60? Yeah. <laughs> I'll Man. get there though. I'll get there. Wait, it's only Tuesday, bro. Sheesh. All right, trade update. So it is currently 10.30 at night. So I was supposed to update this a little bit earlier, but I was out on the road and I anticipated this pullback to perfection. Did it come back to the zone where I wanted to so I can add a position in the trade? But nonetheless, we're looking good. So let me show you right now where we are on the count. So right now we're still in the both same trades and we're at $120,000 floating profit. And honestly, it feels good to be back in these profits. Like I haven't been in these type of profits, I think in almost like a month and a half because I obviously I've been scaling the account from um, you know 100 bucks to where it is now so now you know back to the 40 50k days it's being good so let me show you guys what i meant today in the trade right so aud cad we anticipated for the daily time frame to then close very bearish ideally i don't love the fact of how it did not body close under this point right here this daily candlestick never body close under which is not great but i did expect for this wick pullback to come back and retest these body structures here and that is where i drew out this black line so it retests those body structures there and then on the four hour time frame that retesting that structure point would be retesting this left shoulder in a way and this structure point here as well as you can see price never came back all the way up into that area so i was never able to add a position into the trade but when it retested that zone it was going to also retest the one hour ema 
So I was going to look to add a position at this point right here, but we simply didn't make it to that point by a couple of pips. But nonetheless, the direction of the market is still headed in our favor. So the next trade that I'm looking to enter is going to be the break and then retest of this zone right here. So we can continue scaling the trade to the downside. AUD USD, we're still waiting for the same exact thing in order for us to enter this trade, which is gonna be a break and retest to then sell. NZDJPY, we are still waiting for a break and retest to go to the upside. And then AUDJPY, we're waiting for a break and retest to either side. So we're into the trade right now that's having clear momentum. That's why you wanna enter a trade that has all time frames in sync. So, so far looking good. And we're currently floating about $44,000 in profit. Yeah, that's good profit. Send and forget. All right, trade update. So it is currently 10, 18 in the morning. So last night's trade hit our take profit perfectly. I even sent my daily DJ Khaled message to tell you guys, close to trade, wake up, zipper faces. So let me show you. So right here you guys can see, $130,000 right now on the account from the $100. It's crazy because it's, it's hitting me, right? And we're officially at the six figure mark issue. We're floating in profit like that, but now we're officially closed profit there. So let me show you guys. So this is currently where the, uh, the trade is right now. So I low key regret closing where I closed because I do believe this has so much more downside potential, but I'll be adding an entry very, very soon. If we do get the entry signal, basically price came down last night, hit our take profit area. And I literally sent a message in my free telegram. You guys can see here it's 640 in the morning. Uh, I know a lot of y'all hugging your pillow. Put slob all over. The tabloids, they've all yeah. been in your personal business. Oh, yeah. But the people do want to know, do you actually rent with Hertz? Yes. I love Hertz! Oh. Yes. Well, you heard it from the man himself. Love Hertz. Love Hertz. Morning. Yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of y'all hugging your pillow, putting slob all over it, zippers in, inflicting wounds all over the face. We call it zipper face. Zipper face, wake up, we gotta get this money. So now this trade has officially been closed. Very solid trade setup. I do believe we are going to continue heading to the downside though. If we reject this area of interest right here on the lower time frame, which we technically already are, as you can see, we're doing that as we speak. But I feel like the safer entry is going to be once we break this area and then retest it to then continue heading to the downside. That's going to be the safer trade. And it's what I'm going to be expecting to do. It is currently Tuesday. I mean, no, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, right? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Wednesday? Wednesday, 1020 in the morning. But this challenge has me crazy because I'm trading London and New York at the same time, so I don't know. But whatever. So let me show you guys. So next trade that we got is going to be AUD USD, which AUD USD, we have been waiting for this break and retest here, which you still haven't gotten it. Just waiting, being patient on that. The next trade is going to be ANZD, NZDJPY, which is going to be the break and read this of the zone, which it looks like we're finally about to break out, but we still have about six hours left on this daily candlestick. So once that daily, we're body closing under the neckline of the head and shoulders, which is going to give this humongous downside potential. So we're gonna, for now, set and forget. And yeah, see where this trade takes us. So we're gonna probably, not take any trades for the rest of the day. I think we're not gonna get an entry signal and we're just gonna enjoy the rest of our day and then check back in tonight during London session. So check it out. All right, trade update. It's currently 11.30 at night. I feel like I do the updates the same time, but at a.m. p.m., does that make any sense? Whatever, the point is that, let me just show you. Still exactly the same. We haven't taken any other trades on the account. Right now, the trade where we pulled out was perfect. Let me show you. So right here. You can tell that we got out at our take profit area. I was low key regretting pulling out earlier this morning because there was still a lot more profit left on the table, but trade obviously bounced back from that area. I don't really like how the daily rejected this zone right here because I would have loved if the daily candlestick would have body closed on our pulling back right now, right before a London session. So now what I'm going to expect is for an, any rejections from this zone right here, pretty much how we've done it in the past. And I'm gonna be waiting for a clean entry signal, which we kind of already had it. 
but we got to see if now in the lower time frame we could get another bearish engulfing from this area where it can potentially give us a head and shoulders at this area of interest right here and then if not i'm going to simply be waiting for the trade once it does exactly what i've been anticipating which is pretty much break this area retest it to keep heading to the downside AUD USD, we haven't broken under the area in order for me to sell no trade very simple nzdjpy we have broken above the area and now it looks like we're going to be retesting this zone which is very solid not as strong as of a break as i've been anticipating so i have to be pretty much on the lookout but i do like how it's kind of retesting this zone right here i'm going to be on the lookout to see if we can get a clean entry signal at this area and then last but not least is audjpy which we've managed to have a push to the upside but not break through this resistance level so i'm going to put my focus right now on nzdjpy for some trades long during london session and then AUD CAD for some shorts during London session as well. So check back up with you guys tomorrow in the morning if I don't take anything tonight in London. So once again, 11.30 p.m. All right, what's up guys? So trade update, I actually haven't done a trade update because I completely forgot I was trading London last night and then basically the uh, the camera is not here. So I just completely forgot. But trade update right now on the trade, let me show you guys how it's looking. So this is the trade currently explained exactly as I explained that you guys can see. Hey, sub to the channel for more of these videos, man. Yeah, that's good, son. Good, son. Let's keep trading, y'all.